shit is ridiculous. People worship television. They worship this shit. You know, like if you watch a movie, right? Say you're watching a movie and one character says to another character, say, hey, uh, what's your number, man? What's the other character always say? Five, 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 five. You know why we got to do that? Because stupid ass people go to the movies and then go home and try to call the characters that they just saw. Hello, is Indiana Jones here? No, motherfucker, he's fake. It's not his number. And to be honest, this is the worst time in history to be a black celebrity. Fuck, they locking all our stars up. It's hot right now for black celebrities. I knew it was bad when Kobe got in trouble. I said, this is a wrap for us. He's one of the most wholesome dudes we had. They lock him up and everything. And Kobe kept it together. Thank God he, he held his game together because if he was cracking under pressure and getting like six points a game, the whole L.A. would have been like, that nigger is guilty. <laughs> Kobe was playing his ass off. He was playing like his freedom depended on that shit. You see this motherfucker in them games, this nigga's trying to beat that case on the court. That nigga... oh, stop. <laughs> like the judge threw him the ball, like, play for your freedom. If I could talk to Kobe, I'd be like, just relax, you'll be fine, man, because the public is still giving Kobe the benefit of the doubt. He's one of the few black celebrities that get that. Not because he's a celebrity, more because, you know, the girl showed up with eight different Siemens to the investigation. You can't do that. That's seven too many. That's a lot of semen, man. This bitch got Noah's Ark in her panties. Like, what, you trying to recreate humanity or something? She's a collector. She got every unsolved mystery. The answer might be in this girl's pain. That's the first place I look. OJ's other gloves in there. Bigfoot's footprint. Three CSI reruns is in that motherfucker. <laughs> we got the most diabolical draws ever. Fuck being a celebrity. This is not the time to be a black star. They locking all our stars up. Black celebrities, this is a witch hunt for us, man. God damn it. It's all OJ's fault. <laughs> Ever since OJ got away, white people have just been locking up our stars one by one. It's true. And it's all, it's not even OJ's fault. It's our fault. We celebrated too openly when OJ got acquitted. We should have been quiet about that shit. As soon as it's not guilty, niggas just dancing. Oh, in your face, nigga, in your face. It hurts, don't it? It hurts. Burns, doesn't it? Nigga? Ooh, that justice system burns, doesn't it? Welcome to my world, motherfucker, all that shit. White people wanted OJ's ass bad. City of LA spent over $12 million just trying that motherfucker. And the look on white people's face when he was acquitted, priceless. <laughs> priceless. And that's why I don't trip off of being a celebrity. I don't like it. I don't trust it. There's one minute they all love you, the next thing you know, you're in front of that courthouse dancing on top of a car just trying to figure out what the fuck happened to you. <laughs>